I'm Damali Fields, and guess what time it is? Beauty Business Q&A! Let's answer a question that all you stylists want to know. So, I had a fellow hairstylist ask me, do you take notes on your clients? Not just their formulas, not just the products that you use for them, but do you actually take personal notes? Yes, I do, and I'm gonna tell you why, and I'm gonna tell you the things that you must remember about your clients. So the first thing that's a must, must, must that you remember about your clients is a no-brainer. Remember their name. Oh my gosh, this is so important, which I know it's hard. We service so many guests and sometimes uh, we do forget their names. But just think about it. When you go to Starbucks, you order something, what do they ask you? Your name. And because they ask you your name, it just makes you, it makes you feel special. It makes you feel like they care about you. So whenever Tasha, Sarah, Brittany comes, remember her name because she'll appreciate the fact that you actually know her name and that she doesn't feel like another customer. The second thing that you must remember about your client is their last service. What did they get done last time they came to your salon? Did they get a relaxer? Did they get a highlight? Did they just get a shampoo and style? Remember it, that way you can say, hey girl, how was your last service? How was your last relaxer? Was the haircut okay? Is there anything that we need to change about your haircut? Do you not wanna cut it like that again? If you remember their last service, they'll know that, oh, okay, she remembers me. She doesn't think I'm another customer. And that way you're able to keep up with her services and keep her happy. So remember her last service. The third thing that you must remember about your client is their relationship status. Now I know we do not need to get all up in their business, but we do need to know our clients. So if she's married, if she's single, if she has kids, these are all things to remember. Because guess what? Some clients do, we need to know those things. Say for instance, if a client comes in and we ask him for the second time, oh, you know, is it just you or you're married? And the first time she told you she was a widow. But the next time she comes and you're like, you're asking her again, no widow wants to be asked for the second time, you know, how about your husband? Do you have a husband? So just jot these things down in your notes section of whatever program you use or on, you know, their client profile, jot it down. So the next time she comes, you know, not to ask the wrong questions and you know, the right questions to ask. So know their relationship status. The fourth thing that you must know about your clients is their preferences. What do they like? What don't they like? Um, I know some of my clients, when I get ready to put finishing spray on them, they absolutely hate that extra shine. Uh, they feel like it weighs down their hair. And so I have to remember that, you know, a certain client does not like the finishing spray. A certain client does not like a type of shampoo. A certain client is allergic to certain products. These are different preferences that you must remember because it makes the client feel comfortable with you. It makes them feel like they're building a relationship with you and that they're building that trust. So that's another thing to write down is their preferences, their likes, their dislikes, their absolutely love, absolutely hate, must remember. The fifth thing that you must, must, must remember about your client is their story where they come from, what they do, their occupation, about their friends and family. It is not everything. You don't wanna sit there and question your clients about their whole entire life, but there are some clients that will just open up to you and tell you, hey, I have two kids, they're in high school, uh, I moved here from upstate. Like there's certain things that they'll tell you that will be really great for you to remember. That way you can continue to connect with them. That way you can, you know, Whatever they told you last time, you can start the conversation right back up. Like, oh girl, I know last time you were going to a wedding. How was the wedding? And a lot of the clients will be like, oh, you remember that? Of course I did. So just make sure that you're remembering their story so that you can relate to them and continue the conversation and just build that relationship with your clients. So the sixth thing that you must, must remember about your client is their ideas. Now, I'm not saying let their ideas run your business, run your life, but it's important to listen to people. People love when you listen to them, when you listen to their ideas and like their strategies that they may have. Like they may say, um, you know, I would like if you had a suggestion box so that I can leave comments, so that I can leave reviews. Those are things that you want to take into consideration. That way you make them feel valued. You make them feel important. You make them feel like you're listening to them 
and that you value their ideas and opinions. So just make sure that you're actually listening to your clients and you're not just telling them everything. They're important just like you are. The seventh and last must remember about your clients is special occasions. So if they're getting married, if they're having a baby, having a baby shower, um, even if there's like something bad, a death in the family or an illness, those are things to remember because guess what? There may be something that happened on the news that day that you want to talk about that maybe, you know, resonate with their life, something that maybe you shouldn't mention or something that you should mention. So just remember, especially like um, good occasions as far as their birthdays. I love birthdays. I am a birthday. I'm the birthday queen, okay? I will celebrate no matter what age, no matter what year, I'm going to celebrate my birthday. And maybe there's other people that absolutely love when people tell them happy birthday. So on that client profile, make sure you're getting their birthday. That way when their birthday comes, you can send them an email, send them a text message, a call, or even if they come in and you really, really like this client, buy them a nice little card or a birthday gift, and they'll really love you and appreciate the fact that you care about them, you're getting to know them, and that you guys are building that client stylist relationship. So it's the little things that count, and it's the little things that you remember that will keep your clients coming back to you. All right, thanks for watching. Make sure you remember all of those things about your clients. That way you create the client retention, that client status relationship, and your clients keep coming back and they tell other people about you. It's the little things that count, but it's the little things that make the biggest impact. So guess what? Thanks for tuning in, Damali Fields. I hope you learned something. If you did learn something, like this video, subscribe, comment, tell a friend. And just let me know what other videos you'd like me to make because guess what? I want you to be great, I want your business to be great, and I want you to thrive in your beauty business. Thanks for tuning in. Catch you on the next video.